Hello, this is Cherith and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about self-forgiveness. We often make mistakes. We're human, so we're going to make mistakes, but we do sometimes have a very difficult time forgiving ourselves, but it is so important that we do that. So today I want to share with you eight self-forgiveness techniques that really work. If you are someone who struggles with forgiving yourself, then you'll want to stay tuned to this video. Forgiveness is a form of self-care because it releases you from the anger and resentment that you feel towards someone who has wronged you. We've talked about forgiving others, but today I want to talk about some self-forgiveness exercises, techniques, and activities that will make it easier for you to forgive yourself. You may be wondering why I want to shift the focus to self-forgiveness. Well, I would argue that we have a more challenging time forgiving ourselves than we do forgiving others. Thus, I want to give you some steps for the next time you fail to forgive yourself when you do or say something that you wish you hadn't. We can be so hard on ourselves when we mess up. We often harbor guilt for our mistakes much longer than we should. Holding on to internal guilt and shame hurts your relationships with other people. You might project those negative emotions onto others, which would make you less desirable to be around. Harboring those feelings may also negatively affect your productivity. Your mind may be consumed with negative thoughts, making it more difficult to focus on your daily task and may even make you fearful of trying what you messed up previously. The next time that you make a mistake, big or small, I want you to consider this self-forgiveness process to help you move on after you've messed up. First, let's go back to the basics. Let's talk about what self-forgiveness really means. Before you can begin the self-forgiveness process, it's important that you fully understand what that means. If you were to ask me for a self-forgiveness definition, I might start with something like showing yourself grace, accepting that you've done something wrong. I then might go on to say that self-forgiveness is showing yourself compassion and separating yourself from the mistakes that you've made. Now let's talk about why self-forgiveness is important. You might wonder why it's so important. Letting go of mistakes is necessary if you want to move forward in a healthy and productive way. Some people may associate self-forgiveness with condoning the wrong action that you've taken. The act of forgiveness, whether you are forgiving yourself or someone else who has wronged you, does not suggest that you're condoning that behavior. So it's important for you to forgive yourself because the healing process cannot begin until you free yourself from the anger, resentment, and disappointment that's associated with unforgiveness. You can't be better until you forgive yourself. You make a note from the lessons that you've learned and then you move on. Now let's go into some action steps that you can take to begin forgiving yourself. I'm also going to provide some examples, some tips and ideas to carry out each exercise. Number one, journal about your emotions and don't hold back. Journaling is a great way to start your self-forgiveness journey. Getting your thoughts on paper often brings clarity and you certainly need clarity as you work through forgiving yourself on a mistake. When you're journaling, it's important that you fully express yourself. Don't hold back anything that you're feeling. Write freely in your journal, including as many details about the issue as you can. Writing in your journal helps you to focus and can provide you with better understanding of the mistake. Number two, recognize thoughts of self-condemnation and replace them, like out loud. Often when you've made a mistake, you condemn yourself over and over for that same mistake. The disappointment and shame that you're feeling seems to overtake you and it makes you forget about all of the wonderful things that you've done. When you have those thoughts and feelings, it's important for you to recognize them and replace them with positive thoughts. Just as meditation is used as a form of self-care, it can be used for self-forgiveness. Self-forgiveness meditation is effective because it allows you to positively and verbally recite and think through those affirmations that can lead you to peace. Here's an example of a self-forgiveness meditation that you can use. I recognize that I have done wrong. I also recognize that I am human and humans are flawed creatures. No matter how hard I strive, I am not and cannot ever be perfect. My words and my actions have caused someone that I care about to be hurt. I accept full responsibility for my actions and I will take the steps necessary to rectify my wrongdoing. If the relationship has been destroyed beyond repair, I will accept the consequences and work hard to keep similar actions from happening again. I will not beat myself up repeatedly for this and any other mistake. I will, however, make a conscious effort not to make the same mistake in the future. You don't have to use that one, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. 
as long as you are progressing through the journey, you may want to pin your own affirmation that's more specific to your own situation. Number three, write down the positive outcomes that can come from your mistakes. Our mind usually goes to the negative aspects when we make mistakes, but sometimes our mistake can have some positive effects as well. Think, for example, when you make a mistake, you increase your wisdom. It's true. Once you do something wrong, now you know what not to do next time. So you can take that approach when you have this same situation come up again. Number four, practice compassion toward others and yourself. When you're working on forgiving yourself for a mistake, you need to show yourself compassion. You also need to be compassionate toward others. It's pretty straightforward to think of ways to show compassion to others. You can do things like sharing encouraging words, offering to help someone out, or simply sharing a smile to someone who may be feeling down. How do we show compassion to ourselves though? You can do things like writing a letter to yourself, repeating positive affirmations out loud, eating a healthy meal, or taking a nap. Compassion is expressing love and kindness towards someone who is suffering. So ultimately, whatever you can do to show others love, you can do those same things for yourself. Number five, role play. Pretend the offender was someone else. Role playing is a great strategy to use for self-forgiveness. When people do this, it often helps them realize that they're way tougher on themselves than they would be to other people. Stand in front of your mirror and pretend that you are forgiving someone who has wronged you. What would you say to them? How would you look at them? This may seem silly, but it is a great way for you to get your emotions out and begin your own healing process. Number six, write yourself a letter of forgiveness. Writing yourself a letter of forgiveness is a great way to fully express your thoughts concerning your mistake. Like journaling, writing yourself a letter allows you to get all of your negative emotions out and move on to a place of peace. This letter should help you better understand how you feel, putting you in a better position to move towards self-forgiveness. Number seven, I know you're going to get tired of writing, but I'm a teacher, so I love writing. Write down ways that your mistake can make you a better person. The goal of self-forgiveness is to accept what you've done, forgive yourself, and then work to become a better person. Make a list of ways that your mistake has or can make you a better person. Here are some examples. My mistake has motivated me to be a better person. My mistake has taught me to think before I speak. My mistake has taught me to be less judgmental of others, especially when I don't know the whole story. Those are just a few examples of some things you can use. You don't have to use those same ones, but you just want to have that list so that you have something tangible to look back on so you can see exactly how you use your mistake to your advantage. Number eight, quote self-forgiveness affirmations daily. Quoting those self-forgiveness affirmations can be helpful in your journey to forgiving yourself. Here are some of my favorite affirmations. I forgive myself so that I can forgive others. If you can't forgive yourself, you surely can't forgive other people. Unforgiveness has a negative impact on your ability to have a healthy relationship with people. You have to forgive yourself so that you can forgive others. I release my past so that I can step into my future. The past is called the past for a reason. There is nothing that you can do to change the past. Accept your mistakes and move on with the idea that you're going to be a better person in the future. I accept that I did the best that I could at the time. Now that I know better, I will do better. I love the statement, when you know better, you do better. Use your mistakes as opportunities for growth. I can't stress that enough. And one last affirmation, I forgive myself and I'm ready to move on. Until you make a conscious decision to forgive yourself, it's going to be very challenging to move forward. Self-forgiveness gives you the freedom that you need to move on. Thank you so much for tuning into my video today. If you liked anything that you heard, make sure that you hit that like button. And if you want to make sure that you're notified every time I come out with a new video, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you again for being here and I will see you next week.